Now, because of lack of fact, no, any lack of truth in it, you know, if you know what Casa would be here, the Nadu Dankwako for the Dr. Mahmoud Bamiya, if you know what Kade, the voter regional casting has not actually benefited from any initiative or project as installed by our Dama MPP Abani. So, as I'm sure you should know that it is not true, because I can boldly say with facts and with truth today, as I'm working in Yanakora. Now, Sabi, if the people of Volta are being excluded in our nation building, then what does it actually mean? Nanado into me, Yadam. Dr. Mahmoud Bame into me, Yadam. Copy me there. The facts are clear. But for me, I have to go to my phone because I don't know that this guy's right up. I'm about to show you the proof to show you there. Mabin Morakan on Yanako. This is actually going to be one of the biggest projects you have ever seen with regards to water region concern. And it's this project is happening in the University of Health and Life Sciences, our project in Ho, in the water region. In the survey, say Eti Hoa, name the water region, I can ask them. But I like a video, non shaman come and bring a more videos out today. Then show video. But the major boost for us has been the China Phase 2 project, which is uh a donation or a grant from the government of uh china uh to the government of ghana which was made available to us here at uhas through a lot of negotiations and backroom discussions which i don't want to get into the details now but the, the end of the story is that we have a a 60 million dollar facility which is coming up very nicely and it is putting up the offices for our school of nursing and midwifery which is our biggest school as far as numbers are concerned uh this is a three years project it's uh, donated by the chinese government we are we are, we are building a central administrative building that's offices for the VCs and higher, higher, higher management. That's mainly offices and conference rooms. And uh, the other building is a nursery and, uh, uh, and a midway free school, school building. It uh, consists of three buildings. One is a, a teaching block, like uh, where we are staying. The other one is skills lab and also offices for the school management, the deans and other lecturers. This is yeah. for the uh, nursery and midwifery school. Yeah, it's here. We are staying in this area. This is the office building for the school. This is the teaching area. This is the skills lab. Yeah, this is a see from the courtyard. The view from the inside the courtyard. This photo is a this picture is about the uh, uh, central administrative. That means in, in future, the VC and other directors, their office will be here and uh, other conference rooms. Uh, that one is in construction. But for the for this area, we have done most of the work. Yeah. 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 This is a two hundred seaters classroom. Uh, this side will be the the stage for the teacher. They have the projector and uh, uh, his laptop and a speaker, so he will speak to the students. This this office can provide the seats for two hundred over two hundred students. We have four big classroom like this in this building, uh, and uh, uh, that side we have seen that that is fifty seaters, and that side we also have hundred seaters. In summary. In summary, we can provide uh, seats for 2,400 in total. If we see the back, we can see they are working on the central and administrative block. Because the rock is too hard, so we, we are breaking the rock over one year now, and it, it already reaches the end. So the foundation work has started, and uh, Within six six months, I think we are going to see the the structure rises up. Yeah. So it has the dean's office offices for the faculty, conference rooms, uh, library, 
and everything that a typical school should have. But in addition to that, we have a teaching block. The teaching block can seat about 2,400 students at a go. Wow. 2,400 students can be seated at a go. There are four lecture theaters that seat 200 students each. And there are many other lecture theaters that seat 100 students each. And there are only two lecture theaters that seat 50 students. So this is a game changer as far as our uh, teaching infrastructure is concerned. Then there is a skills lab, a state-of-the-art skills lab, which uh, presents the opportunity for simulation of all kinds of conditions for training all our health professionals. So it is not just for the nurses, but for the medical students, for our, our students in the School of Allied Health Sciences, our nursing students, all our health students are going to have a state-of-the-art simulation laboratory uh, where they can study and uh, have practical opportunities to see what different uh, presentations some patients can come with. So for instance, you can have a simulation of a patient with pneumonia. and uh, So you go to the mannequins and there will be a simulation where you can listen to the, the chest mm -hmm. and hear all the sounds that you can listen to the heart of a patient to tell you all kinds of heart diseases that could present and it is a state of the art so we are making considerable progress and then finally we have the the central administration of the university so we're going to have the offices of the vice chancellor and his administrative setup. All our directorates would have their offices there, the offices of the registrar, directorate of academic affairs, human resources, the audit, the uh, finance directorate, works and fiscal development, our legal counsel, everybody is catered for in that building. So for me, that is the game changer for you as. That is the game changer for you as, which is the University of Health and Alliance Sciences. Really talk about the whole. Imagine a lecture theater, a lecture theater. Oh, which will take two thousand four hundred people, four hundred two thousand four hundred students at a go, at a go. So we catch out there. Now don't you be a within a quarter region of what? Now, I am sure Dr. Abu Dhabi also will to our commission as part the chairman of Oyer Ghana Police Council. No? As also, we provide uh, this uh, uh, police boat, Dama Ghana Police Service. Right now, the Ghana Police Service with the IGP being uh, IGP Dampari. Why today? I mean, the police uh, visibility is almost everywhere. Top notch visibility. You can see police almost everywhere. We hear about the police. They are even on our TVs. They have their own TV channel as a result of IGP Dampari. And the chairman of the uh, Ghana Police Council, uh, Dr. Mudubami. Okay, look at this thing or that one, one just to be able to assist contribution to help them to boost their work. Yes, yeah, sure. Just look at this. You tell me that these boats are not good at. Imagine boats of the sort. Na usi hiamado na ol patru on the seats by the navy on yafiwa and people would argue within Ghana mania ye wumi de MPP on yafi on fa mwana but the 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 ten is clear the truth is there and this is not good to put on your argument in who who be the now ye in some kaka ka basa basa this is actually the video this is not a photoshop this is actually the video you can it was posted by or yeah, MPP project in the room. And on your one or yeah, police ship, it is three. The, all of them, the, all of them are three. Three police ships. Then we'll be able to aboard the Navy service. Nasabi, what's the on your share? Naba some no padoka. Aba some no, aba some no padoka. Sabi sabi. Aba some no padoka. Jennifer. Wow. 
But for me, I feel my family could scatter all my knowledge that is scattered at the charge of comment section. Do you think that my NDC 40 and people to gas to the project being done by the NADO? We think it is fair because the project are clear in their existence. The project, the project are not a, a, a project in imagination. The projects are touch and few projects. You can hold them. You can feel them. Much of the comment section. But for me, I feel my family could scatter. My baby, I should be fishing for Canada. I should be for Australia. I should be for Kenya. I should be for Germany. I should be for Ghana. My mum, I didn't comment section. Mama, can you tell me anything?